Tyler Matsunati here, Tomas Manglonia, and our favorite Miss Kimmy Gogui here to give you guys some awesome, easy recipes that you can make at home just in time for the Super Bowl. So whether you're into football or whether you're into the good food and drinks and the halftime show, um, this is for you and it's really simple. And Kimmy, what have we got going on today? Because we have a bunch of different <laughs> things all over the spectrum, sweet, salty, spicy. No shortage of options for Super Bowl. No, sense. definitely not. So I wanted to start you guys easy. I mean, Super. Bowl, what time does Super Bowl start? Like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. pregame? It's going to be a long day. So um, the first is a chew high. It's only 3% alcohol. Um, the flavors are grape and white grape. So let's start that off. So you can literally open it up, drink it out of the can, be a little fancy, put it in a cup. This is for you, sir. Yeah. This is for you, ma'am love anything grape flavored. It's it's real easy. It's similar to the seltzer, but better. Um, Brother, cheers. So cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> We're already uh, into this. <laughs> really refreshing. Yeah, and it's only 3% alcohol, so it's really, you can drink more than one of these and still have a great day. It's like a sparkling grape juice. It'll keep you going all throughout the day. Right? Yeah. Nothing, not too strong. Yeah. So, and then we can move on to a coffee-based drink. So, this is Ryan's um, Irish style cream liqueur. So basically, copy, throw this in, it makes it even better. And you did say it starts early in the morning, so yeah, it's a so nice this is, little kickstart. This is what you day. start with, so. Um, well, you, and also you don't need to do it in a French press if you don't have one, right? Yeah, you can, you can do just do drip stuff. coffee, you can do. So we can measure what we want to pour, or we can just eyeball no, it. No, we're eyeballing. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four, look at that. Yeah. Um, then we just need to stir it up a bit. Oh, there's whipped cream. <laughs> just yeah. a little whipped cream. You don't have to enjoy. Do yeah. you like it? Oh, I, I think you do. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> okay, great. Now let's start with a, usually we do a whiskey highball, um, just bourbon and club soda, ginger ale, whatever you want. Um, today we're gonna do a rye ball. So the difference between bourbon and rye is rye has a bit of a spicier kick. So if you're not loving the vanilla, the caramel that you taste in a bourbon, then try any type of rye. Right now we have Jim Beam rye, which is a prohibition style rye. So what they used to make in the 1920s, um, hundred years ago. But um, we're gonna do one with club soda and one with ginger ale. The great thing about highballs is that it's something for those that want to get into whiskey and just are a little intimidated by it. Club soda kind of, you know, lets it not be such a harsh flavor if you're not used to the strength of a whiskey. Um, this is one of my favorite rye. We can measure, or we can just do like a three Point count. One, two, three. A little bit of that. So I'm just gonna hand this to you with okay. your citrus to squeeze in. Those are the world's longest. What are you? Where are those? Uh, tweezers, <laughs> tongs. And I'll hand that to you with right. your citrus to squeeze in, and then enjoy. So we call that a rye ball instead of a high ball. Mm, I do like this. This is really nice. It's not it's not greasy or anything like I was expecting. Yeah. So yeah. don't don't get misled by when we say spicy. It's more like a black pepper, milder flavor than that full like bourbon vanilla caramel flavor. Yeah, Might also the, help that I had ginger ale in it. Yeah, yeah. no, the ginger ale really does so complement the flavor. So, really refreshing. Okay, and then what is any Super Bowl party without a Bloody Mary? So, a Bloody Mary is vodka base. A Bloody Maria is tequila base. So we are gonna try it with our new tequila called Ghost Tequila. I've seen this. I've always been a bit intimidated by it because when you did again, when you see ghost, it's like, oh my gosh, ghost pepper. <laughs> no, it's a very good spice. Like it's not overpowering and it's just good. So three count, four count, whatever. Bloody Mary, I just think it's, all right, the breakfast to really kickstart your name. Yeah, <laughs> it after is. the coffee. After yeah. the coffee. <laughs> after the coffee. So your... because we're using ghost tequila, I decided to use original V8 versus spicy V8. Just a little bit of V8. You know, the great thing about a Bloody Mary or Bloody Maria is it's basically whatever you want. So you can put some Worcestershire oh my in. Wow. 
you can put some black pepper in. Girl, <laughs> are you barbecuing over here? Stir it up a bit, right? Okay. Make sure that ghost tequila gets throughout the entire cocktail. Add some olives. And then of course, no Bloody Mary or Bloody Maria is complete without this beautiful celery garnish. Well, it looks nice. gorgeous. Nice and this can be your first time meeting Maria. I so. will I will admit I'm a bit nervous about it. I've never tried a Bloody Maria and I've never had the ghost tequila, so. Yeah, it's a bottom amazing. Up. Oh, oh, someone is a fan. <laughs> it's actually very light. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's the, the tomato juice really cuts whatever whatever fear I had in going yeah. on. Yeah. I don't but know what you good. had. You had nothing to fear, girl. Yeah. So Bloody Mary, Bloody Maria, same concept as one's with vodka and one is with tequila. Now I always have to end the segment with a sparkling wine cocktail. Um, we did. We're doing a different take today, so we'll do Omni sparkling. Um, so basically, a lot of people have the question of what's the difference between a champagne and a sparkling wine. Now all champagnes are sparkling wines, but the only way to be called a champagne is to be from the Champagne region of France. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, if you're gonna mix a mimosa or any kind of like sparkling wine cocktail, save your money, get a more inexpensive sparkling wine, and enjoy it. So it's really just where it's from, but the process Basically. and everything is the same. For the most part, for yeah. For the most part. So you yeah. can also use a sparkling wine for this? Or? Yeah, so we're using a sparkling wine, but you can use a champagne if you wanna you know, spend that money. <laughs> so this is Omni Sparkling. It's an Australian sparkling. So um, basically, you kind of eyeball the recipe. So it's sparkling wine, a little bit of strawberry slices in. Then you put strawberry lemonade. Any strawberry lemonade you have, just kind of equal parts. That's just a regular lemonade, right? You can there's put less, nothing, yeah, nothing, nothing special. Okay. You can put less, you can put more. It's really up to you. You don't even have to put the strawberry lemonade. And then we just pour it over. That almost right, and then you can of course be fancy and add more garnish with a strawberry. Don't have to. And then Gorgeous. enjoy. Right. Thank you so Cheers! Thank you so much, Kimmy. Yeah. Um, it smells well. Ooh, that strawberry garnish right there just gets you prepared. No matter where you're watching the Super Bowl, you can have one of these drinks in your hands. It's really yeah. great, easy at home. Mm. I mean, we did, what, six drinks in 10 minutes? All before noon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is basically Super Bowl. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, again, if you're like, I don't know, I don't know if you guys know football. I personally don't know football, but I do know good food and I do know good drinks. So being able to come over here, again, most of these, almost all of these things, you can come over to the bottle shack here in Denido and pick yourself up anything that you need to get you started and ready for Super Bowl. So thank you, Kimmy. You're welcome. Again, always giving us such a good time over Thanks so much. I'm definitely gonna um, take this coffee one home and uh, try this out again on Monday. So thanks so much. Yeah.